Select an edge loop and extrude it. Extrude it some more and some more. Let's define that shoulder. Get a little curvature going. This will all change, but it's a starting point. Tuning things up, just getting the surfaces to know the wireframe a little better. Work the bottom edge of an extrusion that is just from the shoulder. Have it make sense in the side view. This fender will probably be generated by the wheel opening in the front, but for right now I'm just keeping a side view flow going, making some of the boundaries adhere to the side view drawing, extruding a belt line and top of front fender, The beginning of a roof rail, making my best guess at wheel openings. Start blocking in the sills. Make copies of these panels so that they carry their mirror attributes onto its copy. Gonna make my first guess at where the outboard side of the intake is. Give it a level four sub D. Duplicate for the fender. Going to overbuild this surface so that I can trim it later. Need some wheels, get them from the Corvette. I'll dial in the location as I get finer detail. At least I can set up some points off of the cube for the wheelbase. Having trouble moving the tire because I locked the position on the Corvette.
More photographs for wheel detail. Don't understand why the wheel opening looks so large. I guess it's the perspective of the camera. Gotta stay flexible as conflicting photographic information comes in. Next, duplicate the surfaces and shrink wrap the duplicate to what we'll call the master. I won't cut or mess with that. I'll just cut into the shrink wrap. I'm calling that the trimmed surface. Just use the knife tool to cut into the shrink-wrapped copy. Be careful, don't mess with the master. If you don't need to trim the surface, you don't need to make this step. Another wonderful tool, the Solidify. I'm given everything a 5 millimeter thickness. As you notice, sometimes the trimmed surface gets a little ragged, so you need to essentially connect it to one of the other surface boundaries. So essentially, you're subdividing that surface. The subdivisions won't disturb the surface because it's glued to the master. When tuning up the surface, you must select the vertices of both the master and the trim, or you'll mess up like I've done here and have to sort it out manually. Always edit the master and the trim simultaneously. We'll tighten this up as it goes along. 
I think you'll see the flexibility in this hybrid system.